wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Hey everybody, so uh, Brian's uh, very grateful for Brian giving me a hand here today, Sunday morning. Uh, we're putting the windows in. We've got two in here already, but uh, we're going to uh, just do a quick film of us putting this up on the inside and you'll see how accurate our measurements are. Set a goal, you control it, the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Um, well, it's uh, off a little bit, but it, it looks like it's gonna fit all right. Just when you torque these down, you might have to do them one at a time and gently, and then come back a little bit later just so that you don't uh, crack it. Get ready when you are. Yeah, you place yours, and then. Oh, you already have a hole in that one, you say? I'm gonna check the hole, see if it lines up. Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, let me get uh, let me get placed here. Beauty. Get a first look at the inside. Yeah. Relatively finished. Yeah. I like it. Oh yeah, it looks great. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Nice job. Very cool. Job well done. Well, you know it uh, when it uh, doesn't leak. Yeah, that's the key. <laughs> that's the key. It'll okay. Look even better. Yeah. It's like a win-win. All right, so I'm going to uh, just get the silicon next, and uh, going to change out uh, the the glass. Finish drilling the rest of the holes. Okay, so uh, what I'm doing right now is we've set the windows in place. I've got kind of some anchor uh, screw holes, and uh, now I'm going to flip it over to the real window. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 All right, so P1 is this way. <laughs> no. They try to think here. P1. No, this way, right? This way. Yeah, I'm gonna just use this here and then make sure I don't mess up. Yeah. Okay. It's definitely the right way. I know that I like to do it cause it's sensation I live my life in my head like a narration Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up
bit long. So after I put it through in, okay, let me take a look inside. So it looks like I, I my screw is just a tad long. I thought that the, um, actually, you know what it probably is? It's pr probably variable thickness. Yeah, it just started coming out. So that one did not. Yeah, it's interesting, yeah. eh? Yeah. Well, the fiberglass could have been a little bit thicker there. That's too. what I'm thinking, like the gap in between, it's yeah. slightly different. It's a little thinner on this side, apparently. Yeah. So I guess that's, uh, I put them in with the four. I won't do any of the other ones until, I could just grind off the bottom of the screw too. That's that's an option. You're drilling, you're pre-drilling, so as long as yeah, you're Yeah, I'm going to just grind a couple. Thanks. Looks good. You're going to finish off all the other 800 screws, but... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it looks all right. I like it. Beautiful. That's one thing is that uh, the old ones you can see here had tape on them. Uh, they were so scratched. So at least I'll be able to see out my windows now. So. A big thumbs up. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, no issues. Appreciate your help today. Yeah, no problem at all. Well, uh, I kind of made a bit of a mistake with my screws. I got them exactly the right length. So um, I thought there'd be more gap with the uh, silicon or the caulking, the 291 Cicaflex. But what ends up happening is the um, it's pulling it pretty tight and the tip of the screw is just coming out of the wood. So I'm just going to shave them all. It's a bit of an extra step here, but uh, this will take care of it. on the shelf a while I think it's separated so this is one quart two quart or four quarts makes a gallon and I need about three gallons to do the whole bottom so I'm hoping I can stretch this with what I did before it's gonna look a little patchy but that's okay Yeah, so my boat's supposed to go in in two days. I'm a bit ready. Um, I just need a can of paint, uh, finish off the bottom, and then uh, I'm just doing the mast here. Got a couple things to do in the mast. 
mass is supposed to go up tomorrow, so I let uh, the uh, yard manager know that I'm about ready, so they could probably bring me in there anytime after I get my, um, I just gotta get my fenders on and things, so I'm gonna pretty much get all that done here today. There's one other thing that I wanted to do, this is it here. So this wire is for my uh, my lights. So I just need to build like a, or I just want to put a butt connector on it so I could take it, you know, apart on and out and out each season without having to cut the wires. Uh, wires go in you can see they're grooved on the ends of the shrouds so basically you center this which is right about there and you put your wire through and just twist it and then it kind of can't come out and then uh, these are my old boots so I basically just put these on so that when the sail goes by morning morning you think you're gonna have this ready today uh, well, I'll have the mast all done yet, yeah. and basically these are put on so that when the sail goes by, it just doesn't clip anything to tear, tear the sail. And then I just use typically white tape to tape it on so it doesn't go anywhere. I'm sure there's probably a professional tape, but this is just what I've been doing. Every year I take them off and inspect them, and I think that... Uh, Next year, or next year, or the year after, I'm probably going to need to replace these. dielectric grease in the connector and um, I gave it a little bit of a sanding because I had a bit of corrosion in there last year and I'm almost positive that my problem with my reader was that it was because I had water in the connector because when I took it apart it was all wet and I saw some condensation in there so I just uh, tried dielectric grease this year I should have probably did that last year so I'm just going to connect this last piece here now Chef antenna, Shakespeare squatty body, 5215 AIS. Someday I'll get AIS working on this thing. Except for my ropes, I gotta put in, and I wanna go find my jack lines and the. Uh, um, uh, the ha uh, flag. What are those things called? Flag lines. Anyways, the ropes that you put your flags on, the uh, burgies. I, I didn't, I forgot to put those on. Okay. <laughs> let, the, let the games begin. Oh, that's true. You know what? When I was 20, I think if I would have fallen off a ladder, I would have bounced and gotten back up. But yeah. I says now that I'm over 50, it's like yeah. it's just not the same. When you're over 60, it's definitely not the same. It's it it drops again, does yeah. it? Film so many of these, say they are all about the same, but uh, I don't know, it's still exciting. Now my boat becomes a sailboat. That mask really does make a difference.
Pretty excited. It's starting to look like a sailboat. Appreciate these guys moving me up a day. I'm going to have better wind tomorrow than uh, Wednesday. So I should be able to get out there and bring her into the dock okay. Fingers crossed. I gotta make sense of those mass, all those wires. Hopefully they're all straight. And this is just the way that this year has been. It's uh, another day of rain. It's like making it hard to get this boat ready. I got the mast up, but uh, it's going in tomorrow. And I'm uh, just checking here. It doesn't look like I've got any leaks, so that's a plus. A plus. I used to have little drips down here. That's why I had these bowls. I would position these bowls to capture some water. Victron Touch GX installed up here. So now I can see that kind of inside or outside, which is great. And uh, yeah, we got a bunch of stuff here still to go. One day at a time, we'll get there. Help today. Hey guys. Hello, it's a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. Doing a great job. <laughs> it's like you gotta take all those things and slide them and mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I'm really grateful to have you guys help. Thank you. Well, we're figuring it out. Hey, right, well, we got the mast up today, buffed out the side and cleaned it. You can see the deck has uh, the deck needs a lot of work. There's a lot of dirt everywhere, dirt and grime, but. Hey, it's a sailboat again. So furler's in place. Got the anchor in. And uh, right now I'm going to lift this boom up. I think. We'll figure it out, but... I got some instruments going up there. And it rained really terribly for the last four hours, but uh, we went out and grabbed a bite to eat. And then uh, now we're just back here. We got half an hour before they kick us out. So we'll see what we can do in half an hour. I'm gonna go check for leaks now. And uh, that's the last thing to do. Then uh, check the motor, make sure the motor works. And I'm pretty sure it will be all good. Basically, there's some sways that now.